The time has finally come. Now here's a simple explanation of our strategy. Uh, can you keep it brief, please? I have trouble remembering long-winded things. I just got done saying it would be simple. You do remember that, don't you? Right. Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, go on. I'll give you detailed instructions when the time comes. But first... About the rune cannon. Show it to me one more time. Fort El Il is at the southern end of Kuluk. It also serves as a window to commerce and diplomacy. It's called a fort, but it's more like a large castle. The rune cannon is at the top of the building. If we don't destroy it, we won't be able to get close. So first, we'll send in a detachment to get rid of it. At the same time, our main force will remain in front and attack Kuluk's first fleet. This fleet usually roams the area near the harbor in case the rune cannon cannot be fired. There are times when the rune cannon cannot be fired? Once it's been fired, that particular rune cannon takes time to reload. It was written in the letter from Mr. Amada. We'll have to trust that information. This downtime will be the perfect opportunity for us to strike. I see. So we're going to make them fire the rune cannon once, then destroy it before they can fire another round. Well, that's pretty much it. Have I made myself clear? Want to hear it again? Okay, shall we go with this plan then? I'd like to execute this in the morning, three days from now. Everyone, please use this time to get ready. I'd like you to decide on members for the detachment. Come talk to me whenever it's convenient. So you are going after all, even though you finally regained your kingdom? Yes. If we leave everything as is, we're bound to suffer the same consequences. Even you know that, don't you, Setsu? Yes, sir. All right, everybody, listen up. Once we hit El Il, the threat to the islands should disappear for a while. It may only be temporary, though. But remember, we're fighting for lasting peace. That's exactly what's most important to all of us now, right? Right. And that's why I chose to put my life on the line. Okay then, decide which members you want to assign to the detachment. They'll be separated from the main force for a while, so the ones you choose must be able to hold their own in a fight. By the way, you can't go. You must stay here and command the forces.